Hello students, uh, myself Mayur Kodia from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we discussed some topic related to finite element analysis. So in today's session we have to discuss one more topic that is steps to solve FEA problem. How to solve any FEA problem? We have to discuss a uh, total 8 to 9 step for that. Okay. So in the each step we have to solve any any type of FEA problem structural problem, fluid problem, temperature problem, vibration problem, okay. So, uh, this is the list of total steps of IPA problem. The first step that is discretization. We already discussed that what is discretization. It is the process for dividing uh, any of the parts into number of elements. That is the process of discretization. Second step that is selection of approximation of function means we have to define the function of that uh, object. Next step, uh, formation of element stiffness matrix and then you all know what is the stiffness, stiffness means force per unit, deflection. Next step, uh, formation of total stiffness matrix means we have to solve uh, each element and we have to derive uh, stiffness matrix for the each element. After that we have to combine all the stiffness matrix. Then formation of element loading matrix means whatever load we apply on that element that uh, we have to derive one load vector for that. Next, that is formation of total loading matrix, formation of overall equilibrium equation. That means KQ is equal to F, K means stiffness, Q means deflection is equal to force. Next step, implementation of boundary condition and calculation of unknown nodal displacement means we have to so solve or we have to find out the displacement at each, each node. Calculation of stress and strain. We already did an equation of stress and strain. What is stress? Force per uh, cross sectional area. And what is strain? Change in length of area. Like we already know that. So, we have to discuss all this step in detail in this session. So, we have to discuss one by one each step. Like step number one. So, step number one that is divide structure into discrete element. That means we have to divide any of the object into finite number of elements. So divide the structure of solution region into subdivision or element. Hence the structure is to be modeled with suitable finite element. The number, type, size and arrangement of element are to be decided. So this is the good example of discretization process. Like we have one, have one object and we divide this object into finite number of triangles. Clear. So that is the process of discretization and the triangle is one element. Okay. And this triangle have total three nodes. You can uh, see in this figure. Okay. So this is the uh, uh, discretization with uh, triangle elements. So that is the step number one. Step number two. Select a proper interpolation or displacement model. We have to decide any of the uh, displacement model for solving of the FEA problem. Since the displacement solution of complex structural under any specified load condition cannot be predicted exactly. That's why we have to assume any of the displacement model. We assume some suitable solution within element to approximate the unknown solution. The assumed solution must be simple from a computational standpoint and but it should satisfy certain conversion Right. means we have to assume any of the component or any of the model that is not more complex. Okay. In general, the solution or interpolation model is taken in the form of polynomial. Clear? Means we find out the number of solutions using polynomial function. Now, step number three that is derive element stiffness matrix and load vector. We have to derive element stiffness matrix for each element. And we have to derive load vector means we have to define applied force at each node. Okay. From the assumed displacement model, find out stiffness matrix. Stiffness matrix stiffness indicate with K and load vector indicate with P. Okay. Next step, step number four. Assume element equation to obtain the overall equilibrium equation. Means we have to combine all elements matrix is called a global stiffness matrix. Okay. Since the structure is composed of several finite elements, the individual element stiffness matrix and load vector are to be assembled 
in suitable manner we have to assemble all the matrix in suitable manner and the overall equilibrium have to be formatted as kq is equal to p or kf5 is equal to p where k indicate element global surface matrix phi indicate uh, displacement at each node and p indicate load at each node right where k is equal to the assembled stiffness matrix which is called a global stiffness matrix phi indicate the vector of nodal displacement and p indicate load vector okay next step number 5 solve the unknown nodal displacement we have to solve the equation of stiffness matrix and we have to find out nodal displacement at each node okay the overall equilibrium equation have to be modified to account for the boundary condition of the problem after the incorporation of the boundary condition the equilibrium equation can be expressed as k phi is equal to p is nothing but equation of stiffness what is the equation of stiffness force per unit deflection or force per unit displacement so k is equal to force upon displacement so k into phi is equal to p it is a simple equation of stiffness in next compute element strain and stress you all know what is stress and what is strain how to find stress and strain for any of the linear element from the non nodal displacement if required the element strain and stress can be computed by using the necessary equation of solid or structural mechanism okay so sigma is equal to f upon a and you all know what is sigma that is stress f that is force a that is cross sectional area so stress is equal to force upon cross sectional area where sigma is stress unit of stress that is newton per mm square f is equal force that we have to consider in newton a is cross sectional area and area we have to consider in mm square and strain what is meaning of strain it is this change in length upon original matrix so epsilon is equal to change in length means delta l original length means l so epsilon is equal to delta l upon l so that is the stress and strain is equal to force upon that is step number 6 compute element strain and stress okay next question so next step that is so the, this is the simple flow chart how to solve any of the fea problem so this is the flow chart of fea problem means you have to just remember this flow chart right the discretization of container or cavity is input geometry of finite Elements means first process that is a discretization process. Second process calculate the stiffness matrix. It means you have to calculate the stiffness matrix from the total stiffness matrix. Okay. Next step that is form of nodal nodal vector means you have to define the load vector. In next session that is introduce the continuum boundary condition means in that in this case we have to define some boundary condition. So we have to implement that boundary condition. solve the linear algebraic equation means you have to solve equation of kq is equal to f and you have to solve the uh, that equation and find out value of displacement that is q next output the nodal displacement you have to solve the output of the nodal displacement and next step calculate and output the stress and strain element means at last you have to um, solve or you have to find out the value of stress and strain so that is the simple flow chart we already discuss all these steps in detail so in, in any of the fea problem any of the structural problem of fea at that time we have to solve or we have to use this step to find out the uh, solution of any of the structural problem okay so in any of the structural problem we have to find out total four will first one that is nodal displacement second one that is stress third one that is strain and last one that is reaction forces if you apply any of the force in any of the direction at that time some uh, 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 force applied in opposite direction that is the reaction force so also we have to find the reaction force so this is the simple steps of if you have problem to solve any of this structural problem okay so in next session we have to derive equation of the element stiffness matrix and uh, we already we also derive a uh, equation of the stress and strain for the structural problem okay
So this is the uh, simple method of the fall and if you click on them, in the next session we discuss the next topic. Thank you.